Hi, I'm Yolande Poirier from Oracle Technology Network, and I'm here at Devox France uh, interviewing uh, Stefan Johnson. Stefan, bonjour. Bonjour. So tell us, uh, what are you doing at Devox France? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> what is uh, it about? <laughs> yeah, well, it's really crazy. I mean, it's, um, it's this whole synergies. <coughs> excuse me. It is all these synergies between Java user groups, right? Mm. I mean, I run the Belgium Java user group uh, already now for since 97 or 98. That's scary, though. And um, you, you know all of these other Java user group leaders, and Antonio is, of course, one of them. Uh, Antonio runs the Paris Java U, and he actually started the Paris Java user group because he got inspired of what I was doing in Belgium. And he said, like, there's nothing in France. Right. And so he said, we have to do this. I think so. He started that four or five years ago. 2008. Exactly, so Which four years ago, and then all of a sudden it, it got a chain reaction. He had other Java user groups in France doing the same thing, and now they're almost at 22. There's another one, new one starting this week. So they have 22 Java user groups in France. And so Antonio had a bit the same thing like me. You're looking for new adventures. Yeah. And so he had like his evening sessions, he had his annual events, and then it was like going like, so what's the next thing? And he said, I have to do a conference. That's clearly the next thing. But uh, he knew, based on my experience, that when I started Java Polis uh, in 2001, um, it wasn't easy. I mean, I lost money the first couple of years, and he said, "Like, well, I don't have the, I don't have the financial buffer to lose money in the first edition." So he said, "Like, Stefan, are you interested in like consulting me uh, to organize a conference?" And I said, "No." <laughs> Because I wasn't really interested in like if he would pay me and I would uh, that was like a too short collaboration. I wanted to have something more more mm -hmm, solid. Mm -hmm. And so he came over to to my place and we we, we spent uh, the evening uh, drinking wine, each one bottle of wine, uh, seriously, and we got really creative. and we we ended up basically in the idea of you should franchise Defox. And I said, yeah, that that's it. I mean, the Defox is a good brand. You just take that brand, you make sure that, and we, we really then thought about that and said, like, okay, so we need to make sure we don't compete with each other, that it's six months away from each other. So, and of course, and then he actually suggested, and we should do it 75% in French, because a lot of people in France, their English isn't really that good. So if you already do it in French, they will feel more at home, and it competes less with, uh, with Antwerp, because there we do everything in English. And that's where the bolts got starting, and basically that's why I'm now here. Um, so uh, we really did it professionally in the sense that we really had lawyers setting up a franchise contract because good agreements make good friends. So it's all nicely stipulated and so on. So there's no discussions afterwards. Mm -hmm. uh, and we did that in a very open mind. Uh, and then we signed the agreement the day before the keynote at DevOps Belgium. Wow. So the day before we got it all figured out, we put our signature on and the next day at the keynote, the guys from France announced that DevOps France was born. And that was like, wow, very emotionally, really, I was, uh, we were all very touched and yeah, it was a very emotional uh, ride actually. And then, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah? I mean, we were hoping for like 600 people. Mm -hmm. And we, we doubled the number. It's like 1,250 people. Uh, they clearly touched the soft spot here. Right. And uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. And then, so what was also nice about the branding, of course, we, we already could reuse the registration application, the call for papers application. We even reused uh, our audio and video team, the recording team. I first asked them, actually, no, try to find local companies because they will probably be cheaper. And it wasn't the case. So they were more expensive, actually, than my team. So we said, well, that, then it's easy, right? We will come with my team um, and it's all automatism and, and we have the clocks we have the routine and yeah I think it really went uh, very well I mean th th there's still a few improvements they can do for sure right but <laughs> but it's gonna be really perfect next year I mean but it's already good it's a very good state okay so with the old format and everything I mean you feel like you are at DevOps yes, or it is okay. really the same you have the one day university two day mm -hmm. conference you have quickies you have labs you have hands-on sessions everything is recorded for parlays a very democratic price I mean that's really important right mm -hmm. I mean it's what is it 400 euros for three days I mean if you go to Java 1 with all respect but it's two thousand right. dollars if you ask two thousand euros here you would only get the managers we want to get the developers in here so they even did the extra efforts where they have something called the SIF or the diff which is like this format in France where the employer pays the government so for education of his employees mm -hmm. and then the employees can use that budget to go to an event and we activated that in the subscription so we have like 300 people 
via the DIF SIF actually attending. We even have some people who are uh, unemployed. Mm -hmm. uh, we even have students. So it's again with the right, you know, with the right heart, with the right mindset, and of course right. the, the Paris Jack uh, guys. I mean. They're the right bunch to do this, right? right. I mean, it, if that would not have fit, I would not have been interested because right. more is not always better. Um, but they're the right people. I mean, they're the real right persons right. to drive this. So. And they have a really good connection with the rest of France as yeah. well in all the, yeah. the Everybody respect and them. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, it's a very good fit. It's yeah. really, it's one plus one is three. Wonderful. So are you ready to do that somewhere else? Yeah, so once we <laughs> announced that uh, they're <laughs> franchising DevOx, uh -huh. there were a few people like, oh, okay, this is all of a sudden an option, right? Um, so I'm actually now in an informal stage where there's another uh, user group uh, showing interest uh, in this. It's still too early. I, I don't know if it will happen. Um, but I'm open, of course. Uh, I mean, I'm a developer, but I'm also not naive that if there are opportunities, but right. th there has to be some rules. I mean, it has to be a user group. They have to have the right spirit. Th it needs to be an economical uh, entrance fee, mm -hmm. uh, and but also everything needs to be recorded so we can share that content with the community. So it has to be. It has to feel right. Uh, I, I won't just do it with any other company or whatever. You see, so right. So we'll see what happens. Uh, and maybe in a different language, so you can have even more. Um, yeah, uh, for sure, yeah, for sure, for sure. So I'm open, yeah. for okay. sure. OK, wonderful. Yeah. So that it, it looks wonderful. I and mean, you're just going to take over the world. <laughs> yeah, no, not really. But, uh, but looking at the tweets, I was like, because the French, they sometimes they're very critical. Like, mm -hmm. They're very like, well, I don't like that. We saw that in the preparations. Like, oh, the website is built with this. Why not that? And they were very like, uh -huh. so like wow, they, they really do have a bit of a different culture. And then when I saw the tweets happening here, they, they, they completely, people were really like, OK, yes, this is it. And it's crazy. I mean, we're 2012, and it's there was such a big gap in in France that it wasn't there. I mean, yep. only four years we had a jug. It's like they've. It's strange that they were like really behind. Yeah. So it, it was actually an opportunity uh, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, so I think, uh, well, they've already decided to do uh, DevOps France next year. So that's yep. that. Um, and we'll see what happens uh, after that. And probably bigger. Yeah, well, Pro the problem is that this was already sold out, right? Yes. And yep. Java Pool is, uh, in the past, it grew every year with 30%, so 3-0 okay. every year, until the venue uh, of Metropolis uh, was fully booked, um, which was 3,500 people. Here, they can still add the extra levels, but you already saw it here in the exhibition floor. It's packed, eh? yep. it's almost claustrophobic. So right, it feels it really feels yeah. like DevOps. Uh, yeah, well. yeah. <laughs> but you can't add another 300 people here, right? right? So you, you you then need to think about okay, may, maybe you need to do catering on another mm -hmm. level, so mm -hmm. we have multiple mm -hmm. levels, mm -hmm. so people mm -hmm. can stay at the other levels, and so. So there's again, there's different That's options. Right. Maybe the other venues. Who, who knows? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, no. we've got another 12 months again to prepare the next edition. So Wonderful. So this is great. It so is all positive. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So thank you, uh, Stefan, for You're very talking welcome. to us. And cool. And good luck yeah. with all the franchises. <laughs> 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 okay, thank you. Thanks, Yolanda.